Guys, Terry shouldn't change the rooms when we when he enters here, right? Can we run past him then and there? Who wants to bet that you get shot before you even make, take one step out of the door? And you should be the one getting shot as karma for this evening as the vo as a void all the time. Just be a good little meat shield for us. Are you crazy? Mr. Darius, please, the thing he handed over. Mikado Sanoji! Oh shit. You little dog shit! Oh, that was a critical hit. Wait, what? Why are you hitting me? What did you do, you little? I didn't do anything. Why are you always blaming me for everything? Don't you lie to me. Then who else could have done this? What happened? Oh, uh, stop, stop. I have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Oh, I won't stop. Not until you answer me. Now, what did you do? What the fuck is going on? Whoa, Tervy, what's going on? This is the same as then. I can't let this go on, but what if someone gets killed? What is it, Terry? Just explain it to us. We're trapped here in this tower. Whoop! Uh, deserved, and I'm 100% sure it was Shobai. Well, actually, no. It would have been Shobai if outside interference wasn't a factor. You think it's Ray? What? The front door won't open. I didn't block it or anything. The locks and chains aren't there. Yet still, it won't budge. Oh, the snow. Wait, so even you can't go outside the tower? You're kidding me, right? What about the bull? The hot packs, the bull, the meals, the bull! That's not the focus here. If everyone's trapped here. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you, Terry. Now, this is karma. <laughs> you're kidding me! What? You're telling me that the tower itself locked up? You think I'm lying to you? Come out the main hall. I'll let you all see it this time. Didn't they yet happen? Not a controlled confinement by someone like Terry, but actual confinement. Were we actually stuck inside this huge tower forever? Alright, then this is officially worse than the ballroom. You're officially a big baby, Terry, yeah? Good job. Terry, who was that stuck up with me? Not letting us out, let us out the main hall. No way! We followed Terry out of the break room to the main hall after spending a whole day in there. And the front door was locked, just as Terry explained. And it wasn't the same lock that Terry had physically put in chains yesterday. There was a weird feeling. We felt like there was an, uh, wasn't actually a door there, but there was a faint drawing of a door there. As we, oh wait, what? So someone actually just removed the door. We're playing Sims. As hard as we, as we tried to push the door, it felt like there, we were only pushing the wall. Why? It wasn't like this just yesterday. We're done for. We're trapped forever. Trapped in the break room and now trapped inside the whole tower. Jerry, when did this actually happen? Surely would have noticed considering you went outside multiple times for us. I don't know, just a few minutes ago when I, I went through this very door for your breakfast. But after our conversation at the break room, I tried to leave and the door was just like this. I'm too cold! Whoa, what the? What's up with this wind? Why is it so freaking cold? Wind? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. We're indoors, how can there be wind here? Perhaps there is a way out somewhere in this building. Don't think so. I've searched this place from top to bottom ever since we've arrived here. Jiria, I'm sorry, but this is- I think this is the time for us to team up. We need to cooperate and find an exit out of here. What would Kinjo do? What would Kinjo do, guys? Uh, Tyria? No, you guys will still will still be under my protection. What? Don't you get the wrong idea? I only let you out just to show you this door since you didn't believe me. Now that that's over, it's back inside the room for you, unless you want to take a bullet or two to the face. Are you serious? Do you even realize the situation we're in? It's because of this situation that I'm doing this. When facing peril is is a likely situation where a murder could happen, take it from me. We can't even escape the tower for crying out loud. How is there any point in imprisoning us inside the break room? Power is huge. If I let you loose here, I would never be able to keep an eye out for every one of you. This change is literally nothing. Lock tower or not, you guys need to stay inside the break room. This is exactly how we can stop another murder from happening. To hell with that! Let us out! We want freedom! Yeah, this is truly the last straw. There's a pressing for the sake of safety, and then there's just being plain crazy. Guess which side are you on? If you really think so, then you leave me with no choice. 
Gonna have to kill you all in myself. He's- What would Kinjo do? He's literally Kinjo. Holy shit, I cannot believe it. What in the world? Hold on, you're not serious, are you? Wait, wait, why are you aiming at me? I didn't say anything, Yuriko's the one who said it. Uh, don't push me. And Thrice gliding into a very explosive situation. Tension between Chiri and us had come to a point where agreement and cooperation was not an option. Every one of us in this room felt it. We felt that he was serious. He was seriously about to shoot us. When we were all frozen because of the fear of being shot. Hmm? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> My comrades, please gather immediately to the Oracle Room this very instant. That voice! That means... Book thing we eat at every lunchtime? It's already that time? We'll talk later, after Monocro's done with his business. Believe me, I don't want to kill you any more than I have to. Deuteria, you're seriously dropping some points, my guy. Monocro's announcement came at the perfect timing. It signaled a truce between us, and we were able to avoid the worst outcome. But that doesn't change the fact that we're still trapped inside the tower, and no escape plans came to mind. Where's Shobite? Just what was going to happen to us? And how was he here? Just yesterday, we were all gathered up like this, yet it seemed like, it seems like decades since then. How did he enter? Shobai, whom my, to we totally have forgotten, was there nonchalantly, and so was Mikado, whom we freed for this exceptional occasion. So, Shobai, you were in the tower as well. If you were lurking outside, we would have, we would have at least tried to ask for help. Not, not that you're the type of person to help, but... Sir, what are you muttering to yourself? Tyria, while I am grateful that you set me free, I would, mis I would most appreciate if you got rid of, the of this color around my neck as well. Shut up, you brat. You know I had no choice but to bring you. It's a mandatory event. Oh, oh my, so that would mean you did it because you cared about poor little me. <laughs> as if, you little freak. I just want you to be not dead so you can be punished by the law. And after we're done with this, I'm going to strip, strip and tie you down again. So don't even think about escaping if you value your life. I can't resist without my magic anyways. And why are you still insistent on stripping me? Then let's get right to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know this. <laughs> ah, the exact same lines again. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah, shut the fuck up. The exact same script for the same event. Our original objective was to discover our reset codes through this event. The thought of that never crossed our minds right now. We were already busy thinking about the much bigger problem at hand. So today's book event ended without much significance. Now then, everyone, get back to the break room. Seriously? What do you think like, you're doing is pointless in our current situation? Well, I guess there is no other option. Let's all die together. That's the only way to salvation. Wait! Wait, what? How in the world did you come to that conclusion? Terry, you're not the person to do this! Alright then, shoot me. Yuki? It's already over. Without food or a way to keep ourselves warm, we'll just end up dying anyways. I'll die the quick way if I have to start in the cold otherwise. You can't just go in... It's better to die now than to meaningless, meaninglessly struggle for the little time we've gi we're given to live. Yuki, shut up! Heh, <laughs> seems like you're in a bit of a pickle, huh? This is absolutely show by Right when things were about to seriously go south, at that very moment, somebody that we never expected joined right in our conversation, show by Nah. One, say, why don't I give you a helping hand? Shobai? Is this his theme? Oh, this bops. Oh, this bops. Oh, that's good. What's the deal with you? If it's food you need, I can take care of that. Ura. What do you think you are? Just Don't just go butting into other people's business. Do you even know the situation we're in? Bye. Of course I know! Because of that rainbow dipshit, I couldn't get out of this tower as well! And from your convo earlier, I can clearly see that an unknown source has caused something that locked the whole tower. And you and you still acted like that? What? Wait, hold on, you were in the tower this whole time? Press area and brought us breakfast and everything, how are you able to not starve? Good question! That's where this little toy comes into play. Shobai, with a smug grin on his face, pulled out a small metallic key. What is that? You! You didn't! Bingo! The key to the storeroom. I thought it might come in handy later down the line. I didn't visit the storeroom. I'm so stupid. 
Hand it over now! Whoa, settle down there. Jerry, what does he mean by that? The key to what storeroom? Have you seen the room around the middle part of the tower? That's where the storeroom is located. There's a small exit where the where food is constantly replenished. But to access it, you need a key to go across the metal bars. I had found it weird that there was no key to be found anywhere. Oh, oh it seemed like a greedy little show I had taken the key for himself. Food? Did you just say food? At least we're not, we're not, we're not doomed to starve to death. That's not the problem here! What could this food do when we can't escape this place, you idiot? Calm down, Yuki. Where there's a will, there's a way. Bro. If we try to struggle against her, it'll probably do more harm than good. Than good. The strategy here is to hold it out. If we can take care of food while stuck in here, there is still a chance for us. What you're saying now is no different from a child throwing a, throwing a tantrum. The hell? As if I'm the only one who feels like that. It's the truth. Guys, hear me out. We're trapped in this tower regardless of what Terry is up to. It's only been a day and we've still got ways till we even investigate the rest of the break room. We should take Shobai up on his offer and try to try our best to stay alive. After our, all, our only other option is to die together, like Terry suggested. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be cooperating in hard times. He's got a point. You heard them? I'll take care of everyone. You're not needed here. Just hand over the key to me and leave. Whoa, don't get too ahead of yourself. There's no such thing as a free lunch, you know. Eh, quite literally in this case. What? A hundred crow for meal at one, for one. A sensible price, I should say, considering the situation we're in. <laughs> You're trying to sell us the food? To think of money in a situation like this. Is the food limited or something? I wouldn't say unlimited, but there's enough food to go around for all of us, I'd say. Then you have no reason not to share with everyone. Just how scummy can you get? Nah. Share the food? What good would that bring to me? Girl, you've known me for a month. Isn't it time for you to, to know what kind of guy I am? Cheap steak trashy moto. I have no reason to listen to you any longer. Have you forgotten what I've been holding in my hands this whole time? I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to take it from you by force. You might not know this yet, but violence is allowed at this current. Violence is not against the rules. Sure, I know. The rules check at the section in our handbooks would have got, would have got, uh, sh uh, has gone completely shape shit. That much is obvious. All right then, shoot me. What? Oh! But as long as you're up for it, go straight for the critical hit. Don't be a loser and accidentally miss and make me survive the shot. What the hell is wrong with you? Shobai is so base, dude. I can't. I can't even. I've shot my fair share of bullets, and I know how fast the situation can turn me in, into me holding the gun at your huge-ass head just because you were a teeny bit off with your aim. So take the shot! Drive a clean hole through this man's head, huh? You think I won't shoot you if you act like that? Fine, I'll take the shot. Oh, good answer. As a prize, I'll let you know that this key ain't even the right one. What? You think I'm crazy enough to show the real deal in front of a guy with a fucking gun? Of course the key is hidden somewhere else. So if you kill me here, that will be a no to my offer. That means no key, no food, and no means of survival. You're bluffing. You gotta be bluffing. Bluffing or not, the choice is up to you, rainbow dipshit. So what's gonna be? Would you pay the price for a, of a sandwich for a proper meal? Or would you just let the gun rip off and kill everyone in this room? Make your decision. I haven't got all day, you know. So cool. That's such a cool CG, dude. Finally, somebody with backbone! My god, it took this long? And of course it had to be Shobai. This man is earning respect as he as the chapters go by. I'm sorry, Terry, you fucking deserve this. Yes, yeah, shoot him, Terry! You must be bluffing! Eh? Huh? Don't believe me? How about I give you a bonus gift? That Shobai threw the key he was holding out to Hira. What? Go to the storage room and see for yourself if that's the real deal or not. That should be enough to figure out if I'm bluffing or not for you stupid bit, for you stupid bunch. I almost said bitch for some reason. Oh, Bravo, as expected from the ultimate broker. Even I would have taken up on this offer with that level of performance. Shut up, Mikado! Alright, I get it. I'll pay for the meals. Oh, oi, oi. Really? I've got more important things to worry about than money. And I don't want to waste bullets to the likes of this guy. <laughs> Wise choice, your honor. But first I need to take everyone to the break room. I'll head over to the storage room and after I'm done with that, you wait for me there. Finally, someone with backbone, and it doesn't even accomplish anything. We were imprisoned once more in the break room under Terry's guidance. Just moments ago, we were all trying to rebel against Terry, but now that the food problem was solved, we all suddenly agreed in silence to oblige Terry's requests. Were we that desperate to avoid the harsh reality that was put upon us? 
Or did we just think that this was the most sensible solution to take? I had no right to question the other's choices, as I myself had decided to silently follow Terry to the break room. Uh, it's quite quiet in here, isn't it? Uh, oh, oh, what are you doing over there, Yuriko? Trying out the reset codes. We picked out a new book, remember? Gotta at least try it out. Didn't work. Don't worry, we've taken care of our starvation problem. We still have a lot of hot packs left from when Terry brought them. What about the bowl? What about the bathroom issue? Weren't you the one who was crying on and on about that all that all morning? Well, now that we're trapped in here, it's not like we have a choice, right? Oh, that reminds me, I still didn't... Oh, no. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Yiroha. No. Hope you didn't wait too long. I brought the food that I bought from Shobai. Are... Wait, what are these? These aren't just calorie bars. Shobai said that'll be enough for one meal. Said, said that's all he had since yesterday. But still, this is going too far. Oh, it's a relief for me. People will go crazy for food, I tell you. And all that's left is the bathroom. Now that I am stuck in this tower as well, I won't be able to bring you guys the pot, I promise. I'll try to search for a substitute within the tower. It's fine, Terrier. Just need to take care of the meals. We'll take care of everything else. Huh? Uh, well, all right then. Ooh, Yuki doesn't like that that uh, Shinji is being kind of friendly with him. And I kind of understand. I'm on Yuki's side th this time. I've been, I've been quite critical of how Yuki behaves sometimes. Like, he's the first one to lose hope. It's... It's not out of character considering his personality in, Ding in Utsuro, within Utsuro and Danganronpa and other, the first one. But I'm gonna say, it kinda pisses me off a lot in this game. Like, a lot more than the first one. I don't know what it is. I think he just loses hope way too quickly. As I emphasized yesterday, this is all for you. As long as you don't give up, there will be hope. Just keep it, at, just keep it in until then. See you tomorrow morning. Terry left, there was a heavy silence in the break room. It's like there was not only a lock on the tower that kept us from leaving, but there was now a, a mental lock between our bonds. Yes! Now then, let's get our priorities straight. We came through all the books that we've already checked in the fireplace. The fireplace? Yeah, since the temperature dropped, and considering the limited number of hot packs we have, we need, we need an alternative method to keep ourselves warm. Yuki, you and I are gonna make a bathroom out of these books. Bro, are you serious? So you're just gonna give up and live here for the rest of your life? That's not what I'm trying to do. I told you, the best course of action right now is to survive in this place. We need to make do with what we have. And do it yourself. I'd rather look for more clues than waste my time doing that. Yuki! What's up with him these days? This mood changes on a whim and he keeps on saying bad words. Shinji, I'll help. Oh, you will? Why, thank you. I'll help too. Can't let Sora take care of everything. Yeah, honestly, Yuki's attitude just pisses me the fuck off. Like, I can't stand him sometimes. He thinks he's special? No, he's not! Sorry about that. That afternoon, Shinji, Yoriko, and I spent time creating a temporary bathroom using books. During that time, Nikkei managed to light a fire in the fireplace using the books. I wouldn't call it satisfactory, but we were at least able to make some quality of life improvements. But no one showed the sign of being relieved or satisfied. We decided to investigate the break room again, though there was a hint of awkwardness among us this time around. What the fuck? Give me, ugh. I'm gonna close my window really quickly. Actually, never mind. It was just a car leaving. Uh, anyways, is there really anything left to do? I could maybe hang out with Shinji, but like, Let's do it. Why not? Oh, sorry. You want to investigate together? Yeah, sure. 20! Crosshair dash skill. Okay. Dude, this chapter is going to be brutal. I can already tell. Nighttime. It was not nighttime. Actually, the only indication that it was nighttime was through the clock in the room, so we weren't honestly that sure. Since everyone was so tired, everyone except Yuki had stopped their investigation and was getting ready for bed. I guess I'll call it a day for now. The only thing I had was a single energy bar, so I should, that, that should save my energy. 
This is fucking brutal, dude. What the- no. The game crashed! What? What happened? I'll be right back. I hope I didn't lose it. I, I hope I didn't lose all that progress. Alright, it seems to have saved, thankfully. Doesn't seem like anything's bad now, which is pretty nice. I can tell because Yuki's over there, uh, being a little sh a little shit that he is in this game, apparently. I just praised you this morning, dude. Would it kill you to stay like that for, like, another episode? <laughs> Let's go. Second night in the tower is now over. Thanks to the hot packs that Terry brought in the fireplace, the temperature became somewhat comfortable. So it was only temporary, but less embarrassing than I thought it would be. But I still can't see a way out of the break room. How much longer will it take for us to get out of this tower? As the situation is now, everyone was more hopeless with everyone speaking less and less. Obviously, we'd lose our motivation when we've been in prison ever since yesterday. Well, as a lot of things are happening at once, our group relationship is crackling, cracking little by little. This is kind of Teria's fault. He knows that, but he also knows that he can't do anything else. No! It's snowing inside of the fucking the fucking tower. It's freezing. Is it morning already? Huh? The night as cold as yesterday. What greeted me along with the cold air was snowflakes falling from the sky. Sorry, right, you up? Come here to the fireplace and warm yourself up. This is snow. Just how? We're inside a building and it's snowing. I know it's virtual reality, but we're just gonna throw out all the laws of nature, huh? Now, this virtual world was constructed to be 100% identical to the real one. Things still should behave logically, even if we're in a virtual reality. And how do you explain Mikado's magic? Oh. He's an exception. I mean, he's the one who prepared this place, after all. But it seems like even he doesn't know what's going on this time. He might be playing dumb, but pressing him seems pointless at this point. That aside, what are Yuki and Shinji up to? Yuki seems completely in face. He's investigating the books with a pretty serious face right now. As for Shinji... He has been silent ever since he woke up. Oh, because it's snowing. Right, PTSD. Genji. He said he had PTSD about snow. He seemed fine inside the tower up until now. What should we do? Aren't we in a pretty bad situation? Yuki is beyond control, and if Shinji's like that... We should keep investigating. Sara. Even if we ponder about this, the best we can do is investigate. That That is the only way out of here. Sara's not yeah, Much better than someone dying. And they say that the temperature actually increases a bit when it snows. Crazy, huh? No falling from inside the building. Shinji being immobilized and Yuki being cut off from the rest of the group. Even in these dire situations, the best we can do is investigate. But is that really enough? I'm sorry, Yuki's just being a little shit. That's all there is to it. And just like that, meaningless time flew by. Oh, a time skip! Okay. Every, every day was the same. The same event, the same activity. No progression on investigation. Endless book, books of unknown letters. Sure, you did let us out once a day for our book meeting. But no string we got, but no string we got was the recycle for any of us. How long were they there for? And just like that, three days! Three fucking days! Holy crap! Wait, weren't they. Weren't, wasn't the 79th like a full week? Those remaining from the 79th, a full week inside the ballroom? I guess it's the same thing here. I mean, work week, five days. Sarah, what's up? Why did you want to gather everyone? Ah. Could you keep it short? It's almost bedtime. The reason I've gathered with you all is because I think we've had enough. Everyone, do you know how many days have passed since we've been stuck here? Ah. Uh, four? Uh, no, five? And you were all just fine with that? Being stuck here forever? But it's not like we have other outs, and living like this doesn't actually seem that bad. Sarah, I want to escape this place just as much as you do, but... Now let's do it. Let's escape. Well, we would have if we had found a way to do so. I already told you how on the first day. Option one, investigate this place until we find something that can help us escape. Two, Terry gets in contact with the outside world and we escape together. Three, we fight Terry with the risk of someone getting injured. I see no hope in pursuing options one or two anymore. So we must fight Terry, that's our only option left. She's right. I mean, again, she is right. There's literally nothing else you guys can do. You're all gonna starve here, just to let you guys know. Sarah, wait. I know that it's the only way. I know that, but he's got a gun. Someone's definitely gonna get shot. Worst case scenario, someone might die. Agreed. Staying here doesn't threaten our lives, does it? We should wait out, wait it out a bit more. Everyone, recall, recall Mikado's words a few days ago. Oh, oh, boy, new girl, say what? 
Mikado said that we had stopped trying to think. As much as I hate quoting Mikado of all people, but he's got a point. We must take great risks if we wanted great results. When did we become this afraid of taking risks? Please, everyone, let me your strength. Or else we'll never be able to escape this place. Finally, someone who's making sense. Okay, see, Yuki was being a little bitch, but I agree with him on this. And Sora. I'm all for Sora's idea. I was going to do it alone, but since you all seemed hopeless. Seems like the only sane person here is Sora, huh? You think we haven't thought about it? It's just that it's too dangerous. Dangerous? How? You're afraid you're gonna die here? Big deal. We're only gonna be dead in the virtual world anyway. Uh... I guess dying here might bring some unexpected consequences to our body in the real world. But if I was given the choice to fight to the death or give up thinking and live a meaningless life, I would gladly take a bullet or two. See, I agree with his philosophy, I just don't agree with his attitude. He can expose his philosophy all he wants, I'm, I'm all for it. But the way he addresses others when he's in that state, it's fucking unexcusable. Sort it out, Yuki. No, Yuki, no one's gonna die. We're gonna escape this place and escape. That's how we're gonna plan things out. Of course, that would be for the best. I was just supposing the worst outcome. Please, everyone, let me your strength. <laughs> I'm all on board as well, and while you're on that plan, could you also free me once you escape here? I beg of you. I know I've been a jerk to everyone these last few days. But as Sora said, we need everybody on this. That's how we're gonna get out of here. Stand down, Yuki! Bro? That's not courage, that's recklessness. Even police go through extensive training to handle people with guns. Sure, we will be able to stop Terry if the six of us attack him together. But someone will die! We don't even have first aid kits here to treat someone if they get injured. What's wrong with you, bro? You've been acting weird lately. Why are you just giving up like that? I told you we have to stay put right now. Sorry. Until when? It's already been a few days. We've investigated this place, place thoroughly, and what do we get? No evidence, no clues of escape, nothing. You're usually the one to rally everyone. You're our leader. You're always... You've always... Shut up! What do you know? Do you know how it feels to have someone killed because of your recklessness? PTSD. And is it because of this now? Don't give in to your inner fears, Shinji. We need your strength. If you're gonna do it, do it yourselves. I'm sorry, but I'm not in. Bro! You can leave him be. I was naive to think that everyone would just agree to this. It is an extremely risky plan, after all. It would be best to have everyone on this, but I won't force anyone. If anyone wants to not participate, tell me now. And I'm out too. Iroha. I don't understand why we have to take that risk. It's not like we're gonna die here. And, I, I mean, there are some things that I feel are pretty uncomfortable, like the bathroom issue. But we can adapt and live here peacefully. I don't want pain, and I don't want to die. If you let me go, then I will gladly sacrifice myself to be your personal meat shield. You're going to cave. What about you? <sighs> I'm honestly not sure if this is the right choice. Harry did say that if one of us rebelled, that all the others would also, would also die as they are partially responsible. <laughs> eh, he did? Then uh, how about we all just pretend like none of this ever happened? No, I'm gonna fight. Base Yoriko. Fucking base, dude. See, she's so based. I... Oh my god. Yoriko. Sarah's right. We can't do anything without taking risks. If we yearn for hope, we should achieve it with our hands. Ah, fuck it. I'm in. Nikkei. Yes. When you think about it, this is partially my fault. I'm the one who said that we should investigate this place, and that sort of led us to be trapped here. Now that I'm not a void and I'm on your side, I should follow through and fulfill my responsibility. Besides, Mikado wouldn't be able to do anything to me right now. No, this has nothing to do with me, with Shinji and me. I don't want to die, right, Shinji? Please, just leave me alone for a while. Relax, Yura. We'll all be fine. You can stay put if you're scared. We're gonna get everyone out safe and sound. So four of us. Got any plans? No, nope. I was gonna think of one once we agreed to actually do this. Then hear me out on my idea. I've been thinking about it for these few days. Huh? You've really been thinking about escape nonstop. I was the one who said we should fight Teria from the start, remember? Finally, Jesus Christ! Although I failed to gather everyone's strength, I was able to group a small team who shared a common goal. Yuki's plan was like this. Since there you had to open the door himself and enter the room, we will hide beside the doors and attack together with heavy books and once the door opens. Because it was a surprise attack, we might just be able to take hold of Terry's gun. The main problem is just how strong Terry will be. But even a grown man wouldn't be able to win against four people like that easily. I really hope so. The operation day was tomorrow morning, when he brings us the calorie bars. I should sleep early and pres preserve my strength. 
Game, don't you fucking crash on me again, please. Okay, thank you. I think this might have happened somewhere, like, in the early episodes as well. Anyway. I'm kind of scared because usually when there's, like, huge operations, uh... Somebody, somebody dies. But not during the operation before. No one knows if we've made the right decision. But I, for one, don't regret what I said. If we don't take risks, then there's no way out of this situation. The others must have realized that. And since Sora seems to be blessed by heavenly luck as well, from Utsuro, I feel as if this is gonna work. Like it or not, time did not wait for us. And the day of the decisive battle was about to dawn. Let's go. Oh shit, the music. Everyone, are you ready? This day was about to come sooner or later. Let's do this. Someone might get hurt from this. Someone might could even die. Perhaps we really did make the wrong choice. Sora. So if anyone's scared, it's still not too late for you to... Wait, Sora, I think I should be the one to say that. I thought none of you had the will to escape this place. So I was cursing you all behind your backs. And I should be more than thankful that you even decided to listen to my plan. And you don't get to your hands of yourselves, you two. Huh? We've come this far. We're already motivated and ready to go because of you. If things go south, we'll worry about it when, when it happens. I'm sure it'll all work out somehow. I should be the one apologizing. Betraying the void and promising you guys new hope and yet achieving nothing. Yeah. This is Ultra Despair Girls music! Aw, oh, dude! What, are you not- are we not taking turns about who can apologize the most? It's almost time, so we should focus already! You're right, you're right. Thank you, everyone. God, my heart is pumping, dude. This is insane. I wasn't sure if my decision was the right one to make or not, but at least I won't regret it. All that's left is believing in the others and the fight that will ensue. Our opponent is Surya Kukugan. And if we take this seriously, he will also try to seriously kill us. So no mistakes are allowed. We only get one chance when, we first, when he first enters the room. And so we hold our breath and wait for that fateful moment. No, 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 no. We're doomed. We're all gonna die. All right, everyone, may we finally get rid of that beast Terry and set my poor soul free? The other two are silently holding their breaths in the corner of the room. They aren't going to join our fight, but we have to protect their lives as well. Our failure could would result in everybody taking responsibility, and that responsibility meant death. As we all acknowledge that fact once more, we silently bid our time. Until... Oh, here we go. Huh? Ah! What? Yuki! Yurka, watch out! Eek, Sora! He knew! I was getting picked up by Terria. Excruciating amount of amounts of pain flows down my body. I had to think the fact that I ate nothing but calorie bars for the last few days. His power was almost enough to make me faint on the spot. What was it? What was it? What just happened? Why did Terry attack us immediately after entering the room? How did he know we were hiding behind beside the door? There's a rat. Someone's... Someone's ratting out. When it comes to ambush, if you gain knowledge out of it beforehand and use it against the attackers, the result is much more devastating that, than what was intended for the target. Man, the number of times your teachings have saved me, Kenjo. How? How? How, you ask? How did I know about the ambush, and how did I know it was going to happen in this very way? Is that what you want to ask? Let go of Sora! Ow! Seems like you've underestimated me, and to think I went such lengths to warn you. Now, where do you think the person who imprisoned you... Where do you think I was sleeping the... You little shit. What do you mean? I specifically recall saying that I will be on watch. Don't tell me, you really didn't think that I was wandering around minding my own business while you were stuck here, did you? What? I was always there on the opposite side of the door watching you. The meeting of you guys, you guys had yesterday. Well, no, not just yesterday. I've been watching you the whole time you've been trapped here. There's no way I could not have known. I knew the fact that today was gonna be the big day. I knew that the two of them didn't approve of the plan. What? Wait, Terry, you were watching us the whole time? I thought you said you would look for ways to contact the outside world. The rescue would come soon. There is no way to contact them. What do you mean? I gave up on that a long time ago. <laughs> Man. All that's left for us is to wait for the Foundation itself to come rescue us. Then why would you trap us? So that no one would die until the Foundation comes to the rescue. 
This is literally the only way Kinju would have done this. Yeah! Somebody's messing with your memories, my guy, because you hated Kinjo! Well, you hated Kinjo until you guys survived together, but like, seriously. Kinjo did this very thing, and you yourself rebelled against it! I don't know if you remember that or not. I don't really fucking care if you do or not. Maybe your memories are just messed up. Fine, whatever. I'll even bite into that. But you, good sir, are not yourself. You can't have the same thing that happened to me at that time happen to you as well. I can't let anyone sacrifice themselves. Right. That does make a little bit more sense. Haru and Satsuki. So he does remember. Damn ya! Okay, that he he's lost it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me just uh, <clears throat> let me just uh, let me just uh, Terry, my boy. It's been fun, but you're officially out of the top ten. Bye bye. I mean, I was, I probably am not gonna include Super Danganronpa and other two characters in uh. Of, what am I talking about? Probably not gonna include former DRA characters in the top ten for this game. This man has gone through it, dude. This is the only way. No one will die. I will protect everyone. Shinji. Shinji's about to do this, right? This is how it should be, right? Right, Kinjo? Terry cried out in agony. What made him act like this? What drove him into such insanity? All that was clear was that no words would ever convince Terry right now, and you've lost against them. I told you that. I told you that to rebel means death. I guess this is what happens if you try to rule with violence. If, if sacrifice is what you wish to see, that's, then sacrifice is what you'll get. You'll all die here. No! I don't want to die! Yuki, in the end, where were you to me, I wonder? Stop! Stop! There we go, I, I knew it. <sighs> when Terry was about to shoot Yuki at that exact moment, Jinji leapt out at, le leaped out at Terry with a war cry. Fuck off! Huh? Shinji, I thought you said you weren't in on this! I couldn't just... I can't let some precious to me die again! I won't fail to save them this time! Ugh. Oh, the gun! Nice catch, Yuki! Now hold it tight! Shinji started strangling Terry with his arms. Wait, Shinji, don't kill him! I know, I'm just putting him out of consciousness. A gun! There's a gun in my hand! Yuki? Now that I have this... What is he doing? After grabbing the gun that slipped out of Terry's hand, Yuki muttered something under his breath and pointed a gun at Terry. What? Well, well, Yuki, wait! I can kill him. I can take revenge for what he did to us all this time. No, now it's finally my chance to kill him. No! <laughs> nice one, Sara. <laughs> oh, dude, what the fuck happened? I was just barely able to stop Yuki as I snatched the gun from him. And at the same time, Terry let out a cry and lost his consciousness. And the situation was over just like that. Ugh. Terry, he's not dead, is he? He's not dead. I went easy on him. He's just unconscious, that's all. Yuki, sorry for hitting you. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. I should be the one apologizing. What was I up to? If you're not hurt, then just let leave it at that. Am I? Yeah, we're all safe and sound. It's our victory. I wouldn't say we're completely fine, seeing that some of us are a bit injured, but considering nobody's dead, this is really the best result we could have had. We can all thank Shinji for that. Terry had seen through our plans. We would have all died if it wasn't for Shinji. Honestly, the fact that Shinji didn't participate made this a lot- made this possible. Uh, not at all. I wasn't anything of the sort. We were lucky that Terry had been convinced that I was not going to attack him from the conversation that we had yesterday. Exactly, see? <sighs> and to be honest, I can't move my body that well even now, ever since it was snowing inside. And yet you took action. You saved my life. Yuki. All I ever did was say bad stuff to you. And yet you were always there to help me out. Dude, that doesn't matter. Don't you dare cry, Yuki. What did I tell you about acting like a man? Bro. Oh. So he really did win. Yeah, we're finally free from this life. We all shouted out in celebration. This was the first victory that we earned in this whole school trip. That is true. Although we didn't expect that victory to be against Terry instead of the Void, but we won nonetheless. What is Hiroha doing? To say that we were proud of ourselves was an understatement. Um... 
So when are you going to free me? Ah, uh, finally. This chapter is weird. Some time had passed after that. Terry was considered a threat just like Shoba and Mikado, and thus was tied down. But it wasn't like we were going to completely oppose Terry, yeah? We decided to have a conversation with everyone, including Terry in another room. A self-organized meeting was, was everything was something we didn't have in a while, long while, bar barring the daily boat routine. And so, what are we going to do with this criminal? I'm sorry, man, but you kind of deserve it. You literally... Okay, I understand. I, I do. I really, I really do. Trust me, dude. I wouldn't want to see Haru and Satsuki repeat again, alright? That case broke me. But you yourself were, ag was, like, were against, like, everything that Kinjo tried to do in that chapter. This isn't the answer! Heads up, Yuki. You know we're allowed. Of course, I was just panicking that time, okay? Let's tie his hands down and wait for now. We can completely restrict him like Mikado, right? Tonto. Criminal, huh? If Kinja finds out, I'm gonna be so dead. I mean, yeah. You've been, a, you've been on and on about this Kinja person. Who exactly is he? He's my friend. Friend and my boss, the head of the Kisaragi Foundation. I think I mentioned him once before. Ed, so he's in control of the Foundation? I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I really was doing all that to protect you. Seriously, you tried to kill us! That's because you tried to resist me. Look, no one actually died for the past few days, remember? That's a pretty deterministic way of looking at things. I get that. I get where you were onto, but your methods were wrong. I know, but this was the only way for me. That's how Kinjo, how the Kisaragi Foundation works. And with that, we finally realized the reason why Nikkei told us to keep his reveal a secret to Terry. Yep. The Kisaragi again. Kinjo reverted back to his usual self. Big air quotes after um, the whole Utsuro and Akane trial. And I, 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 I don't know, man. The Kisaragi Foundation seems to have done pretty, some pretty shady stuff in the, uh, in the time skip between the first and this game. We have no clue about what kind of place the, the Foundation actually was. Why? Hey, since you were watching us, you must have heard about me as well, right? So yeah, I'm a void. I've told these guys the truth. I've been working with them ever since the third trial. I'm sorry for not telling you earlier, but it seems like I made the right choice, huh? You must believe in hysteria. We won't die even without you. We will all survive and escape this tower in this world. Ah, do as you like. It's not like I have a say in them. Uh, I have a say in this matter when I'm tied up like this. Or you dropped his bruised head down. He looked so defeated with a hint of regret. Well, he did go berserk on us, and we almost died because of that. I think he realizes that he became the very thing that he hated in the first game. Then we should take turns watching Terry and Mikado. But what are we going to do from there? What? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? We might have gotten out of the break room, but we're still trapped inside the tower. You're right. Although we can investigate more places, we need to consider meals, bathrooms, places to sleep, among other things. It's probably best that we keep our basic life necessities in the break room. We have the fireplace and the bathroom there as well. You have to think of it, we kind of make do with books. But how did Terry and Shiobai take care of their business? Oh, in my case... You don't have to answer stuff like that! And you don't have to stop bringing up stupid stuff! So continue our life as before, but expand our investigation, is that it? Um, everyone, I'd like to bring something up. How about we set Terry free? Mm -hmm. What What if he tries to do something again? Regarding our meals, we have to buy the calorie bars from Shoba, right? I'd like to suggest that we leave that job to Terry like before. What? I'm against it. He's probably going to do something horrible again. I think different. He seems defeated at this point and doesn't even have a gun. If he tries to do something funny, we can all gang up on him. And he should know best that all eyes will be on him for quite a while. Well, you're certainly not wrong, but... That's not the only problem. Terry seems to have the most amount of money here. If we try to individually buy the food from Shobai, it'll cost a fortune. Is anyone here rich enough for that? Sora, you have over 30,000 crow coins. Don't be, a, don't be stingy. You can literally buy 3,000 meals! I see, the money problem is something I can definitely get behind. So, is it a deal? You let me free and in exchange I bring you the food like I used to? Basically, is there a problem with that? Of course not. Alright, I'll bring you the food from Shobai. Oh. Now that that's settled, I think it's best that we keep him inside the break room as well. To keep an eye on him, eh? So now, eight of us, including Shobai, will be living in the same place. No. Not sure if you leave him. No, not sure if you leave him. Listen to me at this point, but keep your guards up. You're most vulnerable when you're at ease. Don't you, don't you forget that the threat of the voids in Mikado still exists. We are very aware of that without your help, thank you. 
Now that we've decided on the rules, we've got one last thing to settle. As I said that, I put the gun that had been in my pockets on the table. The gun. This gun was single-handedly what made us so weak and useless against Terrier. So conversely, gaining a weapon of this caliber must be a, po a positive addition to our group. Right, as long as someone trustworthy and responsible holds this, it should prove to be useful later on. But where did exactly this come from? Terrier, how did you exactly acquire this? I don't know why, but I found it at the top of the tower, inside the break room. I was somehow the one to find it first, and I just happened to use it against you. Well, that isn't the important part. The issue is who should be you, the one who holds this. Ah, I see, Yuki Zara. He tried to shoot Terrier without hesitation when he got his hands on the gun. I told you that was because... I guess that's just an excuse, huh? Fair enough. I agree that it's best I don't receive this gun. I mean, is there any need to continue this debate? I don't think any one of us is worthy except Shinji. Yeah, honestly, he's right. <laughs> Maybe Sora, but I think Shinji's the most trustworthy. What, me? True, the most trustworthy you hear right now is Shinji. Agreed, he's the one who saved us earlier, and he's usually the most helpful one when the situation calls for it. Oh, uh, this is too embarrassing. <laughs> if you take the gun, I know there will be nothing to worry about. I knew you were right, the I knew you were the right one to trust. No. As I told you before, I'm in a very unstable state right now. The cold, dry air and the snow is making my heart terrible, tremble, so I'm doing my best to hold it in. And that's all the more reason for you to hold the gun. What? What this, what this gun represents in this tower. No, this whole killing school trip is power itself. I don't, I don't know if I have the right to talk about your past, but perhaps this power is enough for you to recover from your own traumas. Right, you literally jumped in to save our lives. I know I can't be that brave. But... <laughs> God, how indecisive can you get then? How about we vote? All in favor of Shinji keeping the game, the gun raising your hand. Wait, voting? No, you can't just go ahead and decide something of this importance by voting. My, my, it seems like we are, we are unanimous. I beg of you, Shinji. Alright, as weak as I am, I'll try my best for you all. You know, you'd be so much cooler if you didn't act so embarrassed all the time. True. So, our awkward relationship seemed to change for the better. We were able to f beat the final boss of this tower. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Terio really was the final boss, huh? Because Mikado is still ch Wait, we left Mikado in the break room? We're psychopaths. And we're getting order and peace inside the tower. There's no guarantee that we'll be able to escape from this tower, nor have we found any clue of doing so. We have grown since our last trial through many hardships. All that's left is to do our best to find the truth behind this tower and this whole killing school trip. And with our goal set straight, we were able to take a big step towards that goal. Oh, it's time. Who to gather and blow? You know the drill. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's do this. That was the usual lunchtime meeting announcement, and we all gathered shortly after at the org. We continued our usual routine of peeking each of each of our books. As expected, there wasn't much progress came from today's meeting at all. After that, we went, we each went our ways to freely investigate the rest of the tower. Oh, think fuck. Finally free from confinement. No, you're finally free from confinement. You can finally freely investigate the tower. Everyone else looks to be scattered, so let's look around. Oh wait, this is not free time? Anyways, folks, I think I might end it here, yeah. I'm gonna end it here. This chapter is weird. I don't know what to make of it. Terry just completely lost it, and um... I really hope he takes a turn for the better in chapter 5, because... I really don't like seeing him like that. I don't think he's... Uh, he's trying way too hard to be like Kinjo. Um, and I don't think that's... I don't think that's what he needs. He's gonna realize that eventually because, again, he's Terry. He's not exactly a, a, a stupid guy despite being... Arguably, arguably the worst of the three survivors of the first game. But... And I'm pretty sure Ray, Mac Ray would have just absolutely scolded him if she could see him, or if she could talk to him, and if she's alive, like Mikay said. I still don't know if that's true or not. Um, I would like for it to be true, a lot, but I, again, I don't really know. Anyways, folks, that'll be all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this episode, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you're new to the channel. And if you want to be notified of future uploads like this one, hit the little bell, you know what to do. Also, if you want to join me on my Discord server, or follow me on Twitch for more constant updates, link to both is in the description below. 
I believe that's all. Stay safe. Until next time, guys. Peace.